Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about something that's getting a lot of hype on the interwebs these days, and that's Grok with a Q company, not to be confused with Grok with a K from Twitter. And they're basically making their own hardware that's making language models really, really fast. So upwards of 300 tokens per second on uh, Llama 2. You can also use other models. Now this company looks like they're making things for other companies, maybe like for enterprise, but we can still use the API sort of as end users and there's a free trial. We're gonna try this out in a second. I sort of wanna take a look at this video in case you guys haven't seen this, but here's a news report on uh, CNN and we'll just see how quick this answers questions. So let's take a look. Do that. So we're gonna turn it on. Let's do it. I know the answer to this, Grok, but what makes you different? Well, first, to gonna... another. Hey, I'm Grok. You can talk to me like I'm a person. All right, I will do. Today? What makes you different from a large language model that I may have used in the past? Sure, I'm a bit different from those big language models you've used before. I'm a language user interface. So even with sort of her interruptions, which is another sort of problem with this, people interrupting, but we'll get into that some other day, it still answers pretty quickly. And the text-to-speech sounds pretty natural. natural. I don't know what they're How using. How similar are you to a I'm human brain? Well, I'm not a human brain, but I'm designed to understand and respond. You know, the speed is so good, it, almost, it just sounds natural. It almost sounds like a person's thinking. Like one. Don't. But I don't. Tell me something most people don't know. Um, here's something interesting. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Two pump blood to the gills, while the third pumps it to the rest uh, of the body. Pretty cool. Pretty uh, revolutionary, I think, as far as sort of LLM assistants go. Here's another project by a buddy in the Discord named Ollie. Join the Discord, by the way. Smart, cool people in there. And it's a conversational agent using Grok and then some text-to-speech service. So let's check this out. How can I help you? Hello, I'm calling to book a room. Sure, what dates are you looking to stay with us? I'm looking to stay Thursday and Friday. Great. We have availability for those dates. The room rate is 300. So an incredibly cool conversational sort of customer service agent that has information about the business or whatever. You can imagine the use cases for something like this, right? So let's take a look at some comparisons here. Let's go to the Vercel Playground and here I'm going to uh, compare GPT 3.5 Turbo to the Grok uh, Mixtral, so, or Mixtral Flavor. Let's go ahead and say, hi, how are you? Okay, I got to sign into Vercel. Okay, now I'm logged in. Okay, so even then it answered pretty quickly. You know, it's harder to see in these tests if it's just like a short thing, how much quicker it is, but here we have Grok on the right. On the left, GPT 3.5. Let's do something like give me a list of 20 items I need to bring on a camping trip. Here we'll be able to see how much quicker it really is on something longer. So watch. So GPT is still on 10 while this thing had already finished and you can sort of get an idea of how much quicker it is when you run sort of bigger things like that. Write a full story or something and it's it's so fast. It's It's really incredible. Now there's a lot of discussion on Twitter about you know how are they doing this? Is, you, are they losing money just for the sake of getting a lot of users and stuff? You guys can go look into that. One thing I have noticed is that sort of this thing here, the first token takes a little bit to get, especially with what we're gonna do right now, which is use it via API, but um, it's still so incredibly fast. So let's go ahead and uh, well, how about we just try it on their thing here. So um, write me five paragraphs about World War II or something. Let's try that. Okay, so you can see how fast that is, right? 528 tokens per second. That's nuts. So we're in VS Code and I've got two versions. I've got a Langchain version set up where you can basically just get your API key. We'll talk about this in a second and set it up like normal as part of a chain or whatever pass it on to other things down the line. And I hadn't seen this syntax, or at least I didn't use this syntax in Langchain with the pipe, but it's quite a interesting way, sort of reminds me of functional languages a little bit where you're sort of passing outputs to the next part of the sequence or of your workflow. And the other version I've got of this going is just using the uh, open API client, which makes it really easy, right? So you just 
import OpenAI, get the API key, and I've gone ahead and basically just instantiated a stream, passed in whatever messages I want here, give it a system message, and the question I wanna ask here, 20 items required for a camping trip, pass in the model, stream true, and I also wanna see how many tokens it's outputting per second. Now, when you get to down here, Make sure you got your API key. Again, we'll go over this in a second about the API key and change the base URL here. So this is the key to actually using Croc. And then I'm just running it. So let's go ahead and go over to the terminal. So I'm over here in the terminal. If you'll remember this tweet here, there was something about that I mentioned before about higher speed for Grok, but higher time to first token. It looks like they're, or at least this gentleman saying that they're queuing requests and then processing all requests each request all at once as opposed to open AI. So there is going to be a bit of a delay to that first token. Come on, baby. Wow, this really defeats the purpose of this video, huh? <laughs> okay, but here it goes. Okay, so pretty quick. However, um, there is that bit of a delay. And we can see tokens per second, 462. Now someone check my logic here. I'm not sure if I did that right to, to count the number of seconds. I'll put this on GitHub and y'all can check me, but let's try it again here. Write three paragraphs on effects of sunscreen. I don't know, I'm just making that up. Let's go. Okay, again, a bit of a delay here. But when it, when it finally gives you that first token, it's pretty quick. Right? Um, I think that the best way to sort of see what this is capable of is try it in real projects. So that's probably the next step. Okay, so the last thing I'll mention is that if you want to try this, you obviously need an API key. So to get that, and thank you, Ollie, for the tip on how to get access, you're going to go to the, this contact form, fill it out, and then join the Grok Discord and ask for them to let you in. Now, I don't want to promise that this is going to work, I found that they were very helpful and gave me access pretty quickly. I think that they're pretty excited to let people try this thing out. And I think you get like a 10 day trial of it. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please join the Discord if you're using sort of any cool AI tools or technologies or any sort of tools for that matter. I really like to see what people are doing and uh, what kind of stuff they're using. And it's good to connect with people who are making cool stuff. So hope to see you in there. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.